Today's video is an odd one, okay? So a long time ago, I made a few rough stone farming videos where you can go to bridge watch and you just run around the town and, and gather rough stone. It was 700k an hour. I'm gonna try again, um, this time with premium, but we're, we're not gonna be doing it in town. We're going to be doing it out in a tier three blue zone, which is, uh, this is fractured ground. This is in between step cross and bridge watch. And uh, I'm going to be grabbing the stone, but I'm also going to grab some other resources while I'm out here. Now, I am wearing a full stone gathering set, which you would think I should wear, like, something like hide gathering, maybe. But, um, I don't know. That's that's another test for another time. I am mostly interested right now in all this rough stone, because rough stone is... It's worth 100 right now, each. Just now, I, I've made 2,800 silver in in a minute. It's not even been a minute yet in this video, <laughs> and and we're already, you know, 2,000 up. Now, let, let's see how much the hide is worth here. So, just grabbing these little hides, so that's like four hides. Well, that's two, also 2,000. So, yes, the the little tier two animals and the stone is pretty damn good at the moment. I don't know why, but uh, we're, we're going to be grabbing it, okay? We're going to be grabbing the hell out of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna run around for 30 minutes until my pork pie runs out, and we're just gonna, just gonna grab some stuff. Now, <laughs> obviously, the, the bad thing about rough stone is that you're not leveling anything up by grabbing it. Like, you're not earning, you know, gathering fame, you're not even earning faction points or anything. You're just kinda... Also, I can kill the mobs really, really quick with this new crystal staff. I don't even need to, to run hide animal poison, so I can definitely vacuum these bad boys up. And I think it actually should have been better if I just wore um, <laughs> hide gathering set instead. But yeah, we're just gonna run around and grab some tier two materials and see how much we make per hour. And I'm 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 very curious. I think I think it'll be quite a bit. I think it will be higher than most people realize. And so, as a joke to your friends on Discord, they're like, "Oh, so bitchy, blah, 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 blah. right?" And you can be like, "Nah, man, look look how much he made in a tier three blue zone, brother. Look how much he made." And it does, it's going to shock you, it's going to surprise you, it might surprise me, or I could have just wasted my 30 minutes doing nothing, you know, just, hey, this is how much you make in a tier 3 blue zone. I've I've never made that video, I've never made a tier 3 blue zone video, and it sounds ridiculous, because it, it is! Look at this, I can just, like, scoop all these little boys up. That's, that's, don't take that out of context, okay? Uh, I'm talking about the Impalas in the video game. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, why is it someone made a compilation? A cringe compilation. They haven't made, No one's made one of those in a long time. I, I think they're just afraid to. I don't, I don't know why they'd be afraid. I don't, I don't strike people's content or anything. Except for the, those weirdos that, like, try to, like, they just copy my entire video. And then they're, like, uh, they attach a hack program at the end. They're like, yeah, download this hack program, dude. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that, dude. That thing gave a thousand seven hundred fame. What the hell? <laughs> Why? Oh man, that's pretty wild, wild and wacky. Now, I before I filmed, I checked the marmots to see if they were worth anything, if they were worth killing and gathering, and they're not. Their hides are worth five silver, so that's a sad day right there. That is a sad day indeed. But yeah, we're looking for those rough stones, man. Look at them. They're just out, they're just out here chilling. They're just chilling in the shade. That one's half in the shade. He wants he wants part of his stone, you know, to be nice and tan, and the other half to be very pale. Depends on who he's trying to attract, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> who talks about rocks trying to attract things? I I guess I do. That's my life now. Hey guys, <laughs> so much here. This game is dying. This game has a very low amount of people in the starter zones now. I checked earlier. Step Cross had like 11 people in it. That's... What the hell? Robin Hinkies, you gotta save your game, please. If your game dies, then... Then a lot of us aren't gonna survive the cold, wintry nights. I mean, I will, but um, that's only because I grew up in the streets. But, uh, you know, you gotta, th you, gotta, you gotta think about those poor YouTubers out there that... Uh, you know, with like 1,000 subscribers that have been grinding for like a year at this game and they, they get nowhere. You know, making the same video over and over and over again. That's me. Except I've got 130,000. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh man, why did I say ooh, ooh? I'm so weird tonight. I'm so weird today. We're just gathering. Look, this is what rough stone gathering does to a man. It makes you, it makes you crazy. It makes you, 
safe, wild stuff. But yeah, rough stone gathering, look at it go. Even with the pork pie and the full stone gathering ensemble, I'm still only getting three. Like, I'm getting two plus one, so yeah. I really should have wore a skinning set so I can kill all these animals and take more hides than I normally would. And, uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's whatever, man. Oh, jeez. You would think that, like... You know, I haven't seen any bots, any gathering bots in a little while. I think they got rid of the gathering bots. The only bots that I've been seeing are the damn heart transport bots. And uh, those things are a problem right now, but hey. I put a video out, so... Oh, look at a little boss, little boss monster. Hey, boss monster. I wonder how good the staff is in the static. I might try it out. I might do a little bit of static in here with the stat. I'm in a gathering set, so I can't... I'm, I'm not gonna do it in the gathering set, but... Uh, Probably after I film this, I'll, I'll go try it out. Usually, that's where the bots hang out, is in these damn tier 3 statics. They just can't boss spawns. Because they always spawn in the same spot. And, uh, I mean, I don't know why you're doing a tier 3. Like, y your best loot is, what, a tier 5.4 item? I don't know, man. I just... I don't know, man. Every time I've tried it out, uh, I've never got good numbers, so I don't do it. I don't bother. Hmm. Lots of little enchanted mobs out here. No one's killing these. Guys, <laughs> come out to the tier 3 blue zone. It's super cozy. There's no one around. No one will gank you in faction fights because no one ever goes to tier 3 zones. There's nothing to capture. Hmm, how do we use this? How do we make how do we make silver with this knowledge? I don't I don't know if that's a silver making opportunity. We got a, little, a lot of little bird mobs. I wish I could like have a mount that can attack or cause aggro like I should be able to ride around in the big bird, you know, terror bird. It should be able to peck the enemies and make them aggro. I don't have to get off my mount and slap them with, you know, whatever. What, what do I have? The crystal staff, okay. Crystal staff. All right, we got some tigers, lions, zebras, I don't know. There we go. All the animals are dead from celestial star magics. I know, right? It's super unfair. Like, they're just chilling in the, in the prairie, sniffing dirt or whatever it is they do all day. And then I just shoot them with magical rays of death. And then they die, and then it's Albion, so they come back in like 10 minutes. And they're like, oh man, that sucks. Some Westworld shit going on there. I've already made that video. <laughs> no, barely anyone got the reference. It was kind of a waste. Oh man, look at that rough stone just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Look at these, these little rough stone bad boys. They're just being bad. I miss the old world maps, man. If someone ever made Albion Online Classic, I'd play that. I would, I would, I think everyone would just play Albion Online Classic. It's gonna, it's gonna turn into what RuneScape is doing, you know? Like, everyone plays the old, old school RuneScape. They don't play the new shit. Because no one wants the new shit. I don't even like the, I don't like new stuff in, in, in World of Warcraft or anything, right? Oh, man. Look at this little bird meetup. Look at them. They're just like, hey guys, what's going on? I'm a bird. Oh, buh, 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 buh. oh no, I'm getting rained on by magic meteors. Little well, mini meteors. Yeah, this one died under the boar, right? That's when he looks up in the sky, it's like, that's all he sees. The hairy boar. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what is this guy doing picking up rocks? Hey, wait, that's me. I That guy is me right now. He's picking up, he's farming rough stone. He's even got the same, no, I didn't wear a backpack today for that. Whoa, a player! A real player! Look at his gear! He's got Awaken gear, and he's out here fame farming in the tier 3 static. He's just practicing for the the bigger zones, right? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Look at these rough stones. How much have we made so far? I don't know. In rough stones, we made 27,000 in 10 minutes. It's not a lot. It's not looking good, folks. It's looking pretty bad. This is, this may not be the farm we've uh, made it out to be. What if I grab some cotton? That's only 300. No, no, no. We're not going to grab the cotton. No, no, no. Okay, what about one Impala? How much is one Impala worth? All right, so we're at 11.7, and that became 12.2. That's 500, you know, per Impala. And that's without gathering gear, so... It'd be a thousand with. It would... I don't have my magical powers up yet. They're on cooldown. Oh. Cooldowns. Why? What What if you just had an April Fool's Day where, like, there was no cooldowns on anything? It will be, like, losing their 8-4 sets. I think that's been prophesied. Like, people are like, what is the best 
What is the best set in the game if there were no cooldowns? Think about it for a second, right? If if there was no skill cooldowns on any weapons or armors, what would the best equipment in the game be? Well, definitely that helmet that keeps you immortal and you can't die. Like, your health can't be reduced below one, and if there's no cooldown, you just pop it forever. Easy, right? Pretty simple. It might drain your mana, though. The mana drain is still a real thing, so you gotta watch out for that. Cleric robe. Okay. All right, all right. Forget that helmet. You just got you just got cleric robed. Like, wait. Well, technically, you could still die to a one-shot build. Okay, one-shot build can still get you. You can 100 to zero. If, if you're not being hit, you're not popping cleric robe. Easy enough, right? Um, what else? Oh, uh, you, you got, um... I don't know. What would be some broken... <laughs> Let me know in the comments, dude. Firm engagement. Get people to comment on your videos by asking them questions. No! People ask the same questions every day. Hey, can I farm statics in 6.2? No. No, you can't. Stop trying. Go fame farm. Go get tier 8-3. You're like a day away from it. Just spend one day and enjoy being a thousand times more efficient. Like, come on, man. Hey, that one gave me five rough stone. That's nice. Very nice of that stone to give me a little bit extra for my hard-earned work. Rough stone acquired. Rough stone acquired. Imagine if you can mod this game legally without being banned, of course. And someone made a Swole Benji mod, so every time you gather something, you just hear my voice say stupid shit like, Haha, you got rough stone. Haha, <laughs> you got rough hide. Rugged hide, my bad. <laughs> Alright, animals, get nuked. Get absolutely nuked. Does anyone... Does anyone wish for a nuke to happen in the real world? I mean, like me? Yes. Please. Please drop the bomb so life can get interesting. Please. I'm bored. I want to go I want to go gather rough stones in the real world and build a little stone hut or something or throw them at zombies. I don't know, man, but I remember being a teenager and I would just like look down at my desk in class and I would just be like, "Please nuke the world. I don't want to I don't want to live in this society anymore. Please just nuke it all. Just nuke it." I, so I could smile once in my life. Right? And then as an adult, many, many years later, I'm like, please nuke the world. Just some, just something. Meteors, angels, demons, aliens, nukes, you know, volcanoes, uh, zombies. That would be pretty cool, right? I mean, how do you guys want the world to end? Let me know in the comments. Hey, look at that. It's engagement, dude. You're engaging with your audience. Wow, good job. You're being a YouTuber today. You're like actually doing YouTuber stuff, bro. Nah, man. Real talk, okay, if I had, like, you know, family and friends and stuff, I'd be like, no, don't nuke the world, then we would suffo. And I don't know why I would have that weird lispy accent where you, like, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but there's people that talk like that, and, um, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's kind of, uh, my brain just randomly reverts to that accent sometimes, you know, just as a joke. Like, as a, my brain, does your brain troll you? Because my brain likes to troll me sometimes. And, uh, <laughs> I am so hungry, guys. <laughs> you don't even know. Oh, man. I had, what, what, I had a one dollar party frozen pizza, and I didn't even heat it up all the way. I heated it up to, like, room temperature, and I was like, yep, this is good enough. <laughs> om nom 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 nom. And, ugh, oh god. Maybe I should heat it up more, but, you know, if you can't wait, you can't wait. Okay, time is money, friend. And, uh, you know, extra 10 minutes in the oven is, uh, that's, a, that's electric bill. That, that's money, right? Paying that electric bill? Too expensive. Listen, lads, my internet just, just went up like $30 a month. It's over. That's like my food budget. So, yeah, I gotta like get a job soon or I'm just dead. <laughs> I'm just dead. That or I, I need to YouTube a different game that isn't Albion Online because this game doesn't make any money. Man. Like, I, che I checked, um, I think I've already said this in a video, I, uh, yeah, well, whatever, I'm repeating myself, but, 120,000, 120, 000, 120,000 Albion Online video views will make me five dollars, okay, and, um, I don't make that many Albion views a month, maybe a million, I think this month will be like 800,000, 
So yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna pay anything. I mean, just channel me channel members, you know those guys. Those guys keep me uh, kind of afloat, not really, but like it's better than nothing, right? But oh, man, running out, just running out of money in real life. It's over. All the other Albion streamers and YouTubers and Twitch doofuses and stuff—they're all very wealthy and rich in real life. They they live in four hundred thousand dollar homes. They have very powerful family members that are like part of the government and stuff, and that are doctors and, and politicians, and, uh, you know, I don't have a freaking family that's alive anymore, basically. Like, that's it. It's just me. It's just me, dude. My girlfriend, and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we don't have any powerful you know, people that we know, or wealthy people that we know, or anything. It's just, just living in the ghetto, and um, that's it. It's over. So please nuke. Just drop the nukes already so I could be on an equal playing field with everybody else. Their homes will be burnt down and roasty toasted, and then we can all go out and smash rocks into each other and, um, you know, stuff. But, I mean, the reality is, is that, you know, if a doomsday event like that does happen, us solo players in real life are dead. Like, their warlords are going to appear, and um, people are going to forge little alliances and little you know, brotherhoods and stuff, and then I'm just gonna be like, well, I don't have any friends, so I'm dead. See you later. At least I can have one final cool-ass baller moment um, that someone in a country that didn't get nuked gets to watch on, like, some kind of lively gore website, where I'll be laying in a field, bleeding out. Can I steal this hide? No. Uh, I'll be, like, laying in a field, bleeding out while someone's drone, you know, captures my last moments. I'll make sure to write Swole Benji on my t-shirt or forehead before I go so that someone out there can be like, why does this guy have Swole Benji written on his forehead? And they can look at me and be like, oh, that was a YouTuber. Score. Extra bonus points. Yeah. Or, or something. But will the internet even... Well, I guess it depends on who gets nuked and where, right? Like, the internet will live on, like, somehow. It, it always will. You know, technology is never truly lost. You know, unless you're, like, Genghis Khan and you burn down, like, the libraries. Did he do that, or was that someone else? Is that the barbarians in Rome? Did, did, here's the thing, right? This is gonna sound schizo. And, uh, like, did Rome ever really exist? I mean, we're told about this magical, old-timey place called Rome. But where's the proof? Oh, well, these old buildings, you know, in, like, Italy or something, right? No, like, is it Italy? I, I don't know where it's at, but... That's not proof. Someone could have built that before I was born, yeah, maybe. Well, we carbon dated it and blah, 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 okay. How do I know that, well, I don't know, I didn't learn how to carbon date, so how do I know you're telling the truth, right? Like, there's, you can pretty much apply this to anything that you're taught or told. It's the whole trust but verify, but on a schizophrenic scale of extremes. Well, uh, let's, let's aggro, let's aggro these guys. Let's get them all in. Come on, Tony the Tiger. You're great. You know, I haven't had Frosted Flakes in, like, 20 years. I wonder if they're any good. I don't want that Tier 3 stab. Get out of here. Get that out of here. You know, there's a random video that I always quote, and I'm sure someone that's listening to this has seen it. It's a, it's a kid, and he shows his dad a video, like, on his phone, and it's a guy making a, a, f a food video of him grilling ribs or brisket or something on a grill. And uh, the video, like, the kid and the dad are watching the phone, and in the video, the guy is, um, well, he's, um, he's got a brisket, and he starts to add pepper all over the brisket. Like, he completely encrusts the brisket with pepper, and the dad freaks out, and he's like, that's too much damn pepper on there! Get that damn pepper off of there! That's too much damn pepper on there! And I will just, at, randomly, I will just quote that video randomly in my head or even out loud in front of people in a public place and no one knows what the hell I'm talking about. And I can't show it for copyright reasons, but um, I, I bet I could probably Google it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the son is showing his dad a cooking video. And the guy just adds a ridiculous amount of pepper on the brisket, and the dad just like, "There's too much damn pepper on there. Get that damn pepper off there. There's too much damn pepper on there, right?" And uh, I just quote it randomly. Like I'll be watching like Harry Potter with my girlfriend or something, and then Harry Potter will like cast a spell, and I'll be like, "There's too much damn pepper on there," and she'll just look at me like, "What the fuck is? What's your problem, dude?" Like she'll just get, she'll just get weirded out, right? And I'll be like, "Hey, it's from a funny meme video, you know." 
and then I'll show it to her, and then she'll forget, and then I'll quote it like a year later, and then she'll be like, why are you quoting that? I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm damaged goods. Just put, just take me out back in the in the yard, which I don't have a yard. Okay, I live in apartments. Just take me out back and just shoot me. Just, uh, just you know, just like old Yeller style. Like, oh, he's too far gone. We gotta put him down, right? And uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, someone has to have seen that video. There's another one that I try to quote, but I don't remember it. It's like some. Uh, what is the accent? It's like New Orleans, New Orleans. I don't know how to say the accent, but it's it's a, it's somewhere in in the United States, America, uh, Louisiana, I believe. Yes, that's the place. And these guys, they're like, <laughs> they're like, put some butter on that, now. Like they're making like grilled crocodile mac and cheese or something nasty. I don't know what it is. I don't even know if alligator is nasty. I've never really had it. I had the opportunity to eat it because it's it's a cheaper meat where I'm from, but uh, I just don't like the idea of eating lizards, you know. So, uh... <laughs> oh man, but but yeah, they're like, man, we gonna put some butter on that now, uh, put some gator on that now, yeah, put some spice on that, yeah. Like I I can't do the accent, but um, there's another one I want to learn. It's another American accent. It's the the New Yorker accent, like uh, like Harley Quinn or or those other New Yorkers. Like, hey, forget about it. Oh, I'm Mr. J. <laughs> Why'd I open my map? I'm trying to kill mobs, guys. I've completely lost it. It's over, man. It's just again, just take me out back and put me down. You don't even have to bury me. Just throw me in the dumpster. Just throw me in the dumpster. Let the worms and rats and weird vul vulture birds get me. Okay, you don't you don't have to do any burials, no cremation stuff. Just just throw me in the dump. Just bury like just throw me in the wilderness and let the wolves tear my flesh apart. Okay, and I'm being I'm being serious. I'm not memeing here, guys. I'm not joking. Okay, if it was legally allowed where I'm live where I live. I would just be like, just put me in the wilderness and let the wolves eat me, okay? Like, I don't need my body if I'm dead. You don't need my body. I don't want it in some old, dusty-ass box, you know, that someone might dig up and do stuff with. Not that they would, because I'm a guy, and I doubt... They'd be like... <laughs> that would be the funniest thing, like, YouTuber Swole Benji is dead, and then, like... Like, some other Albion YouTuber digs me up. Hey, guys! Swole Benji here! Look at this! So what he gets, dude? I'd be rolling. I'd be laughing. I'd be laughing. I'd be like, "Hey, this is better than a virtual in-game funeral bombing!" Yay! <laughs> oh man, I wonder what the legal ramifications are to do that kind of stuff. Like, is it is it like a slap on the wrist? Like, "Hey, don't do that. That's disrespectful." Or is it like twenty years in prison in like maximum security? You know, you, you get shacked up, and then everyone in the prison is like, bro, you should have did that. That's, like, real bad. And then all the prisoners hate you. You know, I've had a serious thoughts. Uh, because, like, I don't have any friends. And I've looked everywhere online to try to make friends. I have looked everywhere in real life to try to make friends. Like, actual for reals. I'm not joking. I have went to, like, the shadiest, wildest, most offensive websites that you can think of, that you can possibly imagine, right? I've went to, like, all the corners of the world to try to make friends. There's one place that remains that I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can make some friends in prison. And, yes, I've given this serious thought. I'm like, well, I can just do some stupid crime that won't hurt anybody or, you know, make people, like, hate me. Go to prison, and maybe I can meet some like-minded individuals and be their friend and then... When I get out of prison, I'll have some fucking friends to hang out with and shoot the shit with, and maybe they'll play video games when they get out too, if they get out, and... But at the end of the day, it's like, there's gonna be so many more people in prison that I wouldn't be able to make friends with, and then I'm just gonna be their enemy, and then it's just gonna be, like, me versus them, and, like, I don't ever stop. Like, if someone, like, fucks with me, it's just, they're, like, on a list forever, until the end of time. And that's just how it is, man. And, and I, I usually wait. You know, I wait like 10, 20 years. And, and then I'm like, okay, let's look at that list. See what we can do. Oh, yeah, let's check up on this. Check up on that. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, that's just how it is, man. I think that's how most people are. But they're just, 
they, they don't admit it for some reason. They like they're afraid to admit it. I, I, I how what are you are you guys very forgiving in your life because like you know I, I've always lived by the four chan motto of never forgive, never forget. Because, like, then they're just gonna do it again. They're just gonna do it again. Why did they do it in the first place, right? And, uh... Of course, it's gotta be, like, something major, right? Like, if someone, you know, held me down and chopped a finger off. Well, yeah, I'm going... I'm going to wait a long time, and then I'm just gonna show up one day and be like, Okay, now I take a two fingers from you. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, by then, they'll probably have bionic robot super fingers that are sewn on by magic robots in the wastelands of Fallout. Is anyone watching the new Fallout show? I don't know what to think about it yet, right? Like, I, I played Fallout 1 and 2. I didn't really play Fallout 3, 4, or, um, what is it, Fallout 76. I just didn't really care for those games. But the old ones, Fallout 1 and 2. The, Fallout 2 was amazingly good. I played through Fallout 2, like, a hundred times. I know that game, like, in the back of my hand. I, I should make video guides for it, maybe, but... Man, like, there's really crazy ways to min-max that game. It sucks that it's single-player, and even though there was mods to make it multiplayer, those those were all, like, Russian-owned, and they had the most ridiculous punishment systems in that game. Like, if you griefed or PK'd players, you would awaken in a prison, and you were stuck in prison until someone paid your bail, and if you tried to leave the prison, like, turrets would kill you, and, like, clans would come in and, like, disable the turret for their clan mates and shit. It was a wild-ass ride. But it didn't feel very Fallout-like. It felt like an MMORPG tacked on with Fallout aesthetics. It was so silly. Uh, our, our time's almost up here, you know. And uh, what were we talking? We were talking about uh, going to prison to make friends. Yes. What? A, what would I tell the judge? Judge, I just want to make some friends. So yeah, I robbed the bank and I gave the money back immediately afterwards. But I still technically stole. So can you put me in for like ten years? I think that's a good enough amount of time to bond with somebody. And the judge would just be like, what the hell, dude? What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? You, if you want friends that bad, then go do community service. And I'm like, no, wagey work, no! <laughs> I feel like if I was ever in a courtroom, because they're all like recorded and stuff, that I would become an instant overnight meme because of how I would act and, and the things I would say and the things I would do. I wouldn't do anything like jump over the counter and attack the judge or nothing. Of course not. Of course not. You know, the judge didn't do nothing. He's just doing his job. I don't need to attack the judge. But, like, you know, I'd probably just be awkward in court and people would just be like, Oh, man, who is this guy? What the hell? This dude is weird. This dude's crazy. And I'd be like, well, duh. I mean, yeah, of course. But yeah, man, I just, I can't find friends anywhere, man. It Part of it makes me just want to, like, quit Albion and try to find a new game. But, like, I figured I could make friends with a similar game that I would play, and there's not a lot of games that I would play that are out there right now. Like, like, what is it? Helldivers is fun. It's pretty cool. It's not really a long-term game you can play. Yeah, you, you grind out all the unlocks, and most people that play it don't even talk. You can be, you can be very talkative on the mic, and no, no one's talking. Also, I'm starting to hiccup because I'm not really breathing well while I'm constantly talking to you, such is the case. But, uh, give me a sec. Hopefully you didn't click away. Anyway, I am back from whatever it is I did. What did I, I don't even know what I did. I've already forgotten. I have, like, the, the mind of a newborn goldfish. Man, I, I, I don't think I would want to be a fish. I wouldn't want to... Maybe a bird, but then you don't have arms! Why can't they invent a bird with arms? And then I can just be like that. Now, I think, like, once you go human, you would probably never want to be any other species unless you're just, you just really hate humanity and all its, like, societal bullcrap. You know, when you look at, like, a dog or a cat just chilling, you're like, man, they have it pretty easy, right? But then at the same time, the dog or cat can't get online and look at silly human videos, right? So how do you, how do you, like, are they just not programmed to be bored or something? Look at this guy. We found another dude out here. Why are you wearing plate armor? Stop it! Stop it! Now! I can't do anything to him because it's a blue zone and it's a little safe zone, but... It, the most frustrating thing as an experienced player is seeing new players wearing plate. Bro, you're not a tank. You're not in a guild. Who are you, who are you tanking for? Okay? Y you, you deal 500 item power less damage wearing plate than you do cloth. For one, it's like two to three hundred item power less if you're wearing leather over plate, so it's still whatever, but like, 
come on, bro. You, you gotta, like, read the damn how the game works. These people, they're just like, I wanna be a big heavy armor dude, bro. And then that's how they play the fucking game. And you're just like, no, 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 no. You're taking five times longer to do things that you should be doing. Like, if you're gonna PvE, you do it in cloth. If you're gonna PvP, you do it in leather. If you're gonna tank, then you do it in plate. Anyway, that's 30 minutes. I don't think I made that much silver, but hey, it's a little bit... You know, this is something here. But we're gonna, we're gonna repair our gear, and then we are... We didn't mine any metal, by the way. Oh, well. Oh, well. And funny thing is, using the hammer on the rough stone doesn't hurt its durability. Which, uh, it doesn't hurt for, for wood, either, if you're... You're harvesting rough logs or whatever it's called does not take your durability away so what's the repairs brother 8,000 okay man town dude there's only 50 people in Ridgewatch this game is dying and yes there was a reddit thread and then it's someone leaked my video and they're like don't listen to this little bitch he's a clown I'm like Pff. nah it's their loss that they don't listen look okay in 30 minutes we made 158k it's 300k an hour you make 358k an hour ish if you do it in Bridgewatch instead of the open world with the map, of course. So, again, this is with stone being worth 100. And I'll, I'll show you it's worth 100 right now yeah. on the market. So we're going to go to the market and, I, like, straight up just 100 silver on a, on a buy order. Not even joking, brother. Not even joking. All right. So here we go. At the end of the day... That's not what I wanted. Yeah, 101. 6,153 orders. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just quick sell it. There we go. We made 150k in 30 minutes. Not worth doing. We didn't earn faction points. Absolute garbage. Avoid, avoid, avoid at all costs. Never again. Don't farm tier 3 blue zones. They're not worth it. See you later. That's the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know if I should go to prison to make some friends or not. And um, if you want to be my friend, join the Discord. Pass that questionnaire. Uh, <laughs> I bet people in prison could pass the questionnaire if they're like internet turbo dorks like me. But with that said, that's all I've got for you. Click the video on the right side of your screen or it's going to rain a few hours after you take a shower and you're going to be all fresh and clean. You're going to go outside and it's going to rain on you. And you're like, man, I just took a shower, dude.